this live cast with the poem, <laughs> what I wrote. Um, what I have here in my hand is the, it's fabric, but um, in Surinamese um, culture, the stitching is called mamyo, and um, they are made of different fabrics and different cultures and of scraps that people normally wouldn't use, and then we make something new out of it. And that was where I got my inspiration from for this poem. Fai kantak mi no moi. Fai you kantak mi no moi. Fai you kantak mi no moi. Natu bromchi making me. How can you call a language a mother when you are ripped from her touch, from her breast before tasting her sweet milk on your tongue? How can you call a language a mother when your father burned her history to the ground, erased her memory like she never existed? How can you call a language a mother when you have been taught the comfort of silence? Do not ask too many questions, questions. How can you call a language a mother when you are shushed by even a whisper of her name? How can you call a language a home? When your identity is broken down into a million pieces, you become the minority, paving your way uptown, forward, backwards, jumping to these never-ending labels, non-Western, migrant, expat, underdeveloped, colored, black, Asian, LGBTQI, I, I, I do not understand. <laughs> I do not want to understand. How can you call a language a home? By repeating inclusion, inclusion, inclusion until it loses its meaning. How do you call a language a home when you are always the other in a checklist of binaries? How can we create a language that heals? A language not afraid to embrace wounds of the past, not based on judgment, fear. A language that reaches out a hand I want to understand. A language that leaves space to grow, knows it's OK to make mistakes, sees beauty and diversity, the spectrum of intersectional identities. I long for a language that connects, stitching all these stories into a never-ending tapestry. How do we create a language, a story, a poem that heals? that goes beyond caged birds singing, having a dream, climbing these never-ending hills. I long for a language that feels like coming home, a language sweet, soft, nurturing like a mother, bold enough to scream, I am here, see me as I am, I will never disappear. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.